How you doing, Josecito? Alright, I'm doing good, good, man. Good. How's the energy in the gym? You know, three underdog fights, three fighters, but you guys are as confident as confident can be. Can you talk about that? Uh, you know what? It's uh, our team. Our team. We're confident in our team to uh, put in the right work that's, uh, that's necessary to compete with, uh, with uh, top athletes, top boxers. So uh, we're confident. Uh, we put out for each other. And, we got a great team going in, which is uh, very important. Keith Thurman has been off for two years. How are you going to capitalize off his inactivity? Uh, you know, we won't see until I'm in the ring, but uh, I won't necessarily count on capitalizing on the inactivity. I know uh, I've been in that situation myself, and it's not easy coming back in your first fight. But either way, I'm prepared for the best Keith Thurman. Uh, he's going to see the best Sosacito Lopez, and the uh, you know, uh, fans are going to see a great fight. Last Saturday, uh, <laughs> I thought someone wanted to ask a question. Last Saturday, Manny Pacquiao fought Adrian Broner. Uh, uh, what's your take on, on that fight? Was it too much Manny Pacquiao or not enough Adrian Broner? I think uh, there might have not, not been enough for Adrian Broner because there was too much Manny Pacquiao. You know, uh, you, know you can go into a, a, a fight thinking you can do something, but when the fire returns, you don't necessarily do what you have to. Robert Garcia, I mean, uh, Robert Garcia is not here. Big G's with you. How were y'all able to balance all of these? I got 200 fighters in the gym. This feels like when Ellie's doing your videos. How were y'all able to balance in and uh, keep the keep the chain of command and, and everything in order? Uh, it works, man. It works. Uh, we got a lot of uh, really good fighters in the gym, uh, but we make it work. Uh, you know, uh, in, in uh, Robert Garcia Boxing Academy, it's, it's a family team, you know, so uh, the entire team is just training us and all throughout the day they're there, man, so they, they spend a lot of time out of their day uh, with us and preparing us as good as possible. Who are some of the guys that helped you out in sparring to prepare for Keith? A lot, a lot of guys helped me out, man, uh, all either undefeated or uh, all... A lot of guys, man. I can't even begin to Did you get a chance one. to work with Josue at all? I know he's uh, new over there. Yeah, no, yeah. no. He, I didn't get a chance to work with Josue. Uh, you know, but I worked with a lot of, a lot of the guys, man. Uh, Lindolfo Delgado, Virgil okay. Ortiz. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, and I really can't even name them all, man. <laughs> but everyone from 140 to 160 at, at RGBA Riverside. Uh, we all put in work and put in work together. Speaking of family, uh, I heard Mikey Garcia, you stayed at Mikey Garcia's house for this yeah, camp. Yeah, I stayed in at his ranch. Yeah, 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 talk yeah. about that. Yeah, uh, you know, we're up in the hills in Redlands, uh, isolated, uh, just focused, uh, putting in all the, all the hard work. And, uh, you know, I, I turned in the same facility as, a, as, as one of the best pound for pound champions. So, uh, you know, I really left no stone unturned in this training camp, uh, put in all the hard work. Uh, I feel my best, healthy, uh, you know, strong. I just got to execute Saturday. What do you make of the narrative that you're Keith's comeback fight? Like, just that in yeah. itself. Is that, you know, is that motivation at all? Does that put a chip on your shoulder? Yeah, that, that doesn't bother me. That motivates me. Uh, that gives me that extra push that, that you know, some fighters need. Uh, but I pay no mind to it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I came here for a job and, you know, I'm going to do it. You know, but my skill, my power, and my will to show in this fight because it will get tough. And I will have to be skillful, and uh, my power will show. So, uh, you guys have the same speed? Yes. You know what? I think I'll match up with him in almost every aspect now. Now that I've improved uh, with Robert Garcia. Uh, and just flat out with him. And you've done that set before, right? You've done it 20 times? Yeah, you know what, like I've been in the same situation before, this is, this is basically deja vu for me, uh, from the Ortiz fight, I'm focused, I'm ready, there's no stopping down. Keith says he wants to outdo the Canelo performance, etc., get you out earlier, he's never had a knockout in the Barclays, is that something that you want to disrupt for him and kind of get a knockout maybe on him and, you know, stop his whole reign? Yeah, well, of course, uh, yeah. I don't want that to happen. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, at the end of the night, Barclays, Fox, Brooklyn, they're going to have a hell of a night, no matter what. You know, uh, uh, 
champion, you're gonna see a new champion, but Keith Thurman's not gonna let go of his belt real easy, so you're gonna see a war. I know it's probably like a wealth of knowledge you've gotten from Robert Garcia, etc. Is there maybe one thing you could point out that you have now that you didn't have before, now that you're training with him? Um, I would just, intelligence, man. Uh, you know, I've always had the, the will, the bravery, you know, that's still there. But now I have the, the ring generalship, um, the, the, the intelligence inside the ring, and uh, the right game plan, which is the most important thing you can have. You were the first leg of this three-legged race. Uh, can we talk about the February 9th and March 16th dates a little bit since you're in the, since you're in the gym? Um, how do you foresee, I, I know you know who's going to win, but the underdog mentality, how do you foresee Abner Mares defeating Tank Davis, and, have, and how do you see Mikey Garcia defeating Earl Spence? You know what, uh, I've seen the, the quality of fighters that, that we have uh, in Abner Mares and Mikey Garcia. Um, you know, and really there's, there's uh, not many fighters that can compete with them at their level. Uh, you know, I, I'm just confident in uh, the preparation, which is the most important part. Um, you know, after he's putting in work, Mikey's been putting in work, um, we're prepared. We're, we got the best team in the world with us in Riverside, with our GBA. And uh, we're going to be prepared. They're going to be prepared. And, uh, you know, we just got to execute. That's, uh, that's what it comes down to. Uh, all the preparation will be there. How many wars you got left in you? One more question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, can, I didn't ask 10 of them. Uh, how many wars you got left in you, man? I've, I've been watching you fight the last 10 years, it seemed like. What? Uh, I really can't say, man. I feel my best right now. Uh, I'm refreshed. You know, with uh, three, uh, three fights back from a two-year layoff. I feel like this is my moment, uh, physically, mentally, um, you know, I've, I've matured mentally as a fighter, uh, I've grown a lot throughout the last couple of years with Robert Garcia, and uh, this, is, this is my perfect moment. Are you going to fight the urge of staying in the pocket a little bit? It seems like sometimes you get a little anxious, you throw your combination, you sit in the pocket, and then it, the momentum swifts to the yeah, other I think, opponent. I think more than anything, you're going to see, uh, you see me, but you're going to see a smart man. Um, you, know, uh, you know, I haven't always been the smartest. You know, that's the thing with me. I'm a risk taker, man. There's you no are. risk, there's no you reward. Are. So, uh, you know, a lot of these opponents that I faced that were world champs, some of the fighters they faced didn't take any risks. They just wanted to not get knocked out or wanted just to hang in there with the, with the fighter. I take risks because if you don't take a risk, there's no chance for you winning. You know, and, uh, and I'll take the intelligent risk and, uh, and, and fight to win the fight. Thank you, Osito. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.